the main important thing, guys, is just to identify the, tra the general graph without transformations. So if we kind of take away everything, we'd have y equals 4 to the x, right? If we take away all the transformations. Again, as I mentioned, all this is that 4, that base, is just going to be changing how fast that graph is going to grow. However, we know at 0, the graph, this graph is equal to 1, right? And we, so we know that the parent graph, based on your notes, is going to look something like this. Now what we simply need to do is just apply the transformations. So we can see a negative on the outside is reflecting it over the x-axis. And um, there also then we're going to be um, shifting it over 1. So basically what we'll have is we'll reflect over the x-axis. So now we'll have down 1. And then what's going to happen is, remember there's this asymptote here. Oh, I need my own color. And then we're going to take this graph and shift it up. So therefore, my final graph is now going to have a y-intercept at 0. And remember, there's this asymptote here. Well, this asymptote just got shifted up, right? So the graph is going to look something like that. Now, the next thing I ask you to do is identify the domain and range. The domain is still expanding left and right. So the domain is from negative infinity to infinity. However, the range is going to be from negative infinity all the way up to positive 1. Okay. Make sure when you guys are doing transformations with reflections, make sure you apply kind of the order of operations. You're going to 